What's up guys? How you guys doing? This is Ray. So in this video, I got this cool app that I want to show you guys it's called Folder Maker Pro. Now, if you guys are like me, when you're working in Pro Tools or any other DAW, you like to color code things. So if you got a session of 50 tracks, personally, if they're not color coded, it's kind of confusing if everything is at one color. So if I look at one of my sessions and I see red, I know those are drums, blue, vocals, uh, yellow, VCAs, and etc. You guys get the idea. I'm sure most of you guys work that way. So I started thinking, can I do the same for Windows? I know it's possible to customize a folder. If you right click a folder in Windows, go to properties, customize, you can change the icon. We all know that. But you have to go on the web, find the icon file. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to find a program that could do it all for you. And I did. And this program is pretty neat. Now, there's a couple of tabs here. So let's go through them. So you got ABC. And as you can see, you can select any of these folders. You have additional. You can select some of these presets here colors every day and it has the option to add about another 60 plus icons main user icon and you could custom so let's take a look at my audio drive so an audio drive i have dropbox ftp pro tools session reaper session and samples and i want to change the main folder so let's drag that here i want to change that to this dark red so i'm going to apply Check that out. Pretty awesome. So I didn't have to download any icon file, automatically took care of it. And you can pick any color you want. Dark green. But I like this dark red. We could take it a step further. We could go to ABC. We can just select A for audio and check that out. So right now we can go right into the folder and let's color code Dropbox. So let's open that and I'm going to just select random colors. Now I'm going to select FTP. So you guys get it. You can customize every single folder and that's pretty neat. Simple reason is if I look at the color red, I know that's going to be my audio drive. I look at that specific color, that's going to be this or that. But if you don't like any of these modifications that I did, you can go right to action, roll back all changes. Everything's going to go back to default. Personally, what I like to do, let's select the Dropbox. Let's open a folder and let's pin that folder there. And let's keep our folder maker to the right. And I personally like the lettering, the ABC section. So we can go to D and it's going to put a D for Dropbox. We're going to go to F for FTP. And I'm going to do the rest of them. So there you go, DF, PRP. And that's how I like this. I see the D, I know it's Dropbox, F for FTP, P for Pro Tools, R for Reaper. And I messed up here, so let's fix that one. And there you go, S for Sample. So let's go ahead and roll back all changes. So if you wanted to, you can select one of these presets. So if I have bookmarks in here, I can select a Google Chrome or you can select Adobe Premiere. So you can basically associate a folder with just about everything. So now we're going to click here. We're going to go to customize and I'm going to add. Check this out. I already have this uh, Pro Tools icon. I'm going to press OK. I already have the path set to the Pro Tools session folder. I'm going to apply. Go to audio drive and if I refresh, it should be there and it's not. And the reason, because I didn't select the icon. So you got to make sure you select the icon, apply. There you go. How neat is that? Now let's take a look at some of the options. You got help, language, folder. So you can select single folder. You can select multiple folders. As you can see, I already did that. So I'm going to scroll down and let's just change the folder. Let's see what happens. Check this out, pretty neat. I kind of like the way those folders look. Now, 
from the bottom up, restore our customizing data, backup customizing data, keep folder uh, data on change, make folders distributed by default. Customize, make folder menu, refresh system icon, uh, select icon as the default folder icon, restore default icon for choosing folder and apply icon change. Now, one of the options here that are pretty cool, this option here, if you select this and you make a modification to one of the folders, I can drag this over to another computer. So if it's red, the other computer is going to see that folder as red. And I think that's pretty cool. So something that you guys might have noticed, these folders are actually empty. And I did that for video reasons. If we take a look at my actual setup, let's go over to my uh, FTP folder, which is Ragey uh, Productions, which is RGP Studios. And when a client logs in, this is what they'll see. So currently, pretty much all the folders are empty except free audio plugins and my Pro Tools session files. I got some sessions there that I'm gonna work on. But we can customize this stuff as well. So I'm gonna copy the path and I'm gonna go ahead and open this here. So I'm gonna remove. Let's go to single folder and let's select that path. Press enter so we can change the mix down folder if we wanted to. So I wanna make that, uh, let's see, you know what? Let me just change this to that option. That way on the server, everybody can see it. So let's make that red, apply. And now everybody is able to see this folder when they log into the machine. How neat is that? All right, so we applied it to that folder. So let's log into that system. So you can see I'm remotely connected to that system and this is that physical system and check this out. I don't have that software installed here. So the mix down folder is red. So anybody that has access to this system can log in and we'll be able to see that. That's pretty cool. So there you go guys, that's Folder Maker Pro 4.3.